Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have another college video for you guys and it is how to pack for college things you might forget. So this is a bunch of things that I learned about while I was at college that I was like, ooh, I should have brought. And then I end up picking that stuff up. So I have my list right here. First thing is an ice pack because you might get hurt. All right, I don't know what this is called. Anti-something, I think. Um, but it's like cream for cuts. Like when you get cuts and you put like that ointment cream thing on it and then a band-aid, you need to bring that. You won't need it all the time. That's one of the things that it's like you don't really need it all the time. But when you do need it, like you want to have it. Well, eye shades. Now, um, most of you will have roommates. And you'll have like a different sleeping schedule. So it's just nice to have. Also, an umbrella. I didn't really think about this. But when you're walking to class, you don't really want to get wet. So either bring an umbrella or a raincoat. And going along with that, also, you might want to bring rain boots. I don't own any still, but they'd be nice to have because when it is raining and you have to walk to class, that's kind of far. Like, you don't want to have to be sloshing in puddles and get your shoes all wet because you don't want that. Another thing is a beach towel, and this is for, like, when you go swimming and stuff like that. Another thing is rags, and this is for like when you clean your shower, or your toilet, or your sink, basically just all that stuff. Another thing is Windex. I really didn't think about this, but if you want to clean your mirror and your windows, you'll need Windex and paper towels. Uh, you might want to bring some extra blankets, and these are the blankets that you care less about, kind of. Um, cause these are, like, if you want to go to a football game, or for me, soccer games, and they're at night, in the fall, or whatever, and it's kind of cold, you want a blanket. And also, if it's raining, and you're a diehard fan, or something, like, you could put a blanket or a towel on the bench, and then sit on that. Another thing that you may forget is a flashlight, because sometimes the power might go out, or if you just want to be... Um, super nice to your roommate and like use a flashlight if you're up later than he or she is. Um, I just have a mini flashlight. It looks like this and I um, put it next to my bed. Also, this is, I feel like more people would know about this one, but a shower rug. You know, when you step out of the shower, you want to step onto a rug. You don't want to, um, have just like the regular floor and for it to be all wet so this is mainly for if you have a, a bathroom like a shower attached to your dorm room or in your dorm room um, also depending on if you live if your college is in like a sunny location you will want sunscreen and then if you are typically the person that gets burned you'll want to bring aloe vera if you do live in like a sunny spot and you're like going to the beach or walking around with your friends playing volleyball outside or something like that you'll want to have sunscreen at least another thing that i forgot which is kind of crazy but is allergy medicine and i don't have any like severe like allergies but i get like seasonal allergies like usually in the spring but um when I went to school, apparently I was, like, allergic from the cornfields and stuff like that. Because where I go to school, there's a ton of cornfields around. And so they were, like, harvesting in the fall. And that just, like, made my allergies really bad. And I didn't have any medicine. And I didn't have, like, tons of extra Kleenex boxes available. So, yeah, I definitely get allergy medicine because... Especially if it's seasonal, so because you don't really think about allergy medicine until you need it. Um, you'll also probably need a sleeping bag. Not so much for yourself. Um, if you have other people staying with you in your room, like your friends or your family if they come to visit. Or, like, 
I know we had like preview weekends where accepted students would come in and just visit the campus and stay in dorms and stuff like that so I know I housed students a lot and it's just better if you give them a sleeping bag to sleep on so they don't have to sleep on the floor. And also if you have extra blankets you can also use it for other people staying in your room. But also if you're taking like a day trip somewhere or going on like a camping trip with your school or something like that, you'll want a sleeping bag. Alright, this is one thing that many people might not think about bringing, but it's travel size essentials. And you'll probably need this more if you go on trips with your school or if you're going to sleep over at your friend's house who lives close by to campus or something like that. Um, you'll want to bring those travel size items that you can just use and another thing you may want to bring is stain remover if you get any stains on your clothes you'll want to um, have that stuff available or you can also use tide to go another thing you may want is dish soap if you're doing your own dishes and you'll also want to bring sponges or brushes stuff to clean your dishes with and you can also use sponges for cleaning the bathroom as well. So, so I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, let me know down below if you think I forgot anything that is like things that people normally forget to bring to pack. Um, or comment if this helped you in any way. Um, yeah, I'll have a lot more college videos for you guys. Um, but I also have another one coming soon about college packing, so stay tuned for that. And give this video, video, video a big thumbs up. And I love you guys, and yeah, see ya.